Welcome to another lifetime training video. Today we're going to go over adjustments and how to use them in live time. So I'm currently on a race screen and we have not started a race yet, um, but you can actually start using adjustments before a race begins. You can do that by clicking on the adjustments button on the right hand side and uh, flying out this section. Be sure to choose the right driver you want to apply an adjustment for. But let's say that someone's gone through tech and already you've determined that they're disqualified. You could select them. So let's say Eric here has already been disqualified. I can check this. I can type in whatever reason I want and it'll show that um, he's already disqualified in the race prior to it starting. Additionally, let's uh, say that we uh, added a adjustment to Brandon. Uh, for whatever reason, we're going to say that he's docked a lap. So I'm going to select one lap. I'm going to put um, tech violation and I'm going to subtract a lap. So now the system goes, whatever the result is, be sure to subtract one lap from it and it'll apply it immediately. Um, it's not going to show up until the race begins and it never goes negative. So the first time that Brandon gets a lap, you'll notice that his lap count's still at zero and then it'll go one, two, three, because it's automatically, automatically uh, adding the adjustment to it right away. So I'm going to go hit start. I'm going to start doing manual laps, one for each person. So we have a staggered start race. So now they started. You'll notice that that adjustment is being applied as we go. Okay, so I'm going to false start this race right now to show you something with adjustments. By doing so, hit the false start, hit yes. It actually does remind you in the alert, if you saw, it says adjustments are not removed. So any adjustment that you add does not get removed if you false start. Brandon still has the negative lap and Eric still has the disqualification. I'm now gonna remove the adjustment, restart the race, and now you'll see that as I'm progressing through these laps, the adjustment is no longer applied to Brandon. He's got three laps like everybody else. You can add adjustments as the race is going on. So if, let's say for example, myself and Eric cross, but Brandon for whatever reason did not uh, get counted. You could do a manual lap to make up for it like usual, but if you miss it, you could go to Brandon and say, add one lap and hit add, and you'll notice that he gets added here. So if I click on laps and splits on the right, and I go to Brandon, you'll notice he has three nap laps normally, but if I go to adjustments, we have an additional added lap. If you want, during the race, or even before or afterwards, you can use the column fly out on the left to additionally show uh, adjustment information. So I clicked the columns button on the left, clicked a couple of check boxes for the adjustments, and click the column again to pop out. Now it's now you can see that one lap adjustment for Brandon is, is being added here. And you can add and subtract these by clicking the button right on this grid as well as the race is going on. Once the race is finished, so I'll just go ahead and finish the race, uh, you're no longer able to adjust anything. If you want to make changes after the race, you'll have to go into the editor. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now by clicking on the race editor at the bottom. So you'll notice that a bunch of things got flagged here. Uh, the system automatically marked everyone as did not finish because I'd finished the race before the time expired. Eric still is uh, disqualified, but uh, Brandon, you'll notice there's an exclamation mark next to laps, meaning that it's been adjusted. So here's a quick way to look at uh, any adjustment that's been added for the driver. If you want to, you can click on adjustments in the editor and you can add and subtract things. Uh, so I'm gonna remove the added lap, bringing him back to three. Um, you'll notice that Eric is still in third because he's disqualified, so he ranks under everybody else. Um, you can do other adjustments as well here in a minute, but just make sure that if you want to commit anything, you have to hit the Save Edits button for it to, to be saved. Um, so I'll do that now, and then I'll make even some more adjustments here as we go. So other things I want to point out, after the fact, you have the ability to not only adjust laps and time, but you can adjust all sorts of other columns and information. Uh, you can do that by, in the adjustment section, under the field, not only can you adjust the result, but if you want to adjust their fastest lap time, uh, their top three consecutive uh, points, so if you're using qual points or race points, you can do that, um, and position overall. So 
Um, let's talk about position for a minute. Let's say that there was some punishment that needed to go in and Corey needed to be docked a position. So I can say here that I'm going to uh, add a position overall. So go from one position to two and hit add. And what you'll see is now I'm listed as um, two instead of one, but it's a little weird, right? Why am I still in first place and not second? It's because in any race, you can determine how it's sorted. Is it sorted per class or combined? By default, if you have multiple classes in the same race, uh, all, the, all of one class shows in one group above and then the next one below and below that. So you need to, when you're adjusting a position, not only do a overall position, but do the position in class as well. So I'll say I'm gonna add a position for in the class two, and now you'll see that the sort works correctly and I'm in second instead of first. Um, so just be sure to, if you're making a position change, to do it both in class and overall, and it's based on how you're sorting it in the lower left corner here. Um, I'm going to remove these adjustments and you'll see I go back up to first. Um, if instead of doing adding and subtracting, you just wanna say, Corey should be third. Um, you can, instead of add, subtract, say override. I'm gonna override the position with the value I put in. So I'm gonna override my position in class being third. I'm gonna override my position overall um, in, in third as well. So this is helpful if, let's say, um, for their fastest lap, um, I want to dock their, whatever their fastest lap is, I wanna add a second onto it. So you can you know, say, I'm gonna add a second and hit add, and you'll see that that got added to their fast lap uh, amount. But if you instead want it to be, if you wanted to override it and say their fastest lap needs to be two seconds, I can do that and hit override. And now it's overridden as two seconds. It's not add or subtract anymore. And if you have an override and an add or subtract, the override always takes precedence. So as soon as you say, I don't care what else has happened in the past, I want it to be this. You put an override in it and hit the button and the system will apply that. Then just make sure to hit save edits and um, that will put it, that will commit it into the database for you. And that's it. That's a quick uh, overview on how to use adjustments and what you can do in the race screen and in the editor. Feel free to give it a try and as always reach out to support if you have any questions. Thanks.